Hello, church. I'm here uh, tonight uh, just to let you know what's going on at Gasville Baptist Church, uh, just uh, for future plans so you can be getting ready. Uh, as you know, recently our governor lifted some of the restrictions for churches meeting physically together in their buildings. Uh, the deacons, because of that, met with uh, Brother Galen and myself, and we had a discussion and looked at the restrictions that are still in effect. Uh, those restrictions don't make it feasible for us to meet in our building at this time. Uh, you have to have maintain a six-foot distance. You have to keep your mask on at all times, the whole time you're in your service, if you're 10 years of age and older. Um, you have to enter the building in six-foot gaps. You have to exit the building in six-foot gaps. Uh, the way the seating is, we could only accommodate between 55 and 60 at the most in our service. We'd have to do at least two services to get everybody in. And in between, you had to clean, and you clean with bleach, and then the bleach has to dry so it doesn't ruin everybody's clothes. Because of that, uh, the deacons voted tentatively. And when I say tentatively, because everything's in flux, because uh, the plans are changing. If uh, the cases of COVID-19 don't go up, if the governor goes on from phase one to phase two, we've tentatively scheduled an outdoor uh, 10 a.m. service for Sunday, May 24th. Uh, we're going to meet at the back parking lot behind the Christian Family Life Center. Uh, the deacons are going to be present to direct traffic. We're going to try to park along all the different spaces over there where you come in for uh, funerals, and then you bring your own lawn chairs and come set up. That there be some deacons directing where to set up, uh, how close you can get, things of that nature. Uh, but again, all those things are dependent upon uh, certain conditions. Uh, the governor laid those out. And these conditions are going to be met not because the government said so, only, but because we as good Christian citizens are going to set the example to do what they ask us to do. Uh, what are the conditions? You can seat in family groups as close as you want. Anybody not in your family, you have to sit at least six feet of distance. Uh, there's to be absolutely no physical contact. No fist bumps, no elbow bumps, no hugging. Just say hi and be glad to see one another. All right? Uh, I know this is going to be especially hard after all the weeks uh, of no hugs, handshakes, all that, but the government's requirements are um, no physical contact. Uh, for the children who want to go run and see friends and hug friends, uh, keep them in your family groups, please. Uh, those that are over 65 or have underlying health conditions are strongly recommended uh, to continue watching online. Brother Galen will take me online. We won't have all the music and everything, but it'll be a, a sermon you can listen to online. Now, I'm not saying you can't come to the outside service, but I really want you to consider the danger you're putting yourself in uh, and the risk to your own life. And really think about that before you decide, well, it's not going to happen to me, and you show up and you've got a problem. All right. Speaking of that, anyone who has a 100.4 fever or higher, Stay at home. Uh, anyone uh, who's coughing or having trouble breathing or has been exposed to COVID-19 in the last 14 days, stay at home. Don't attend. Don't put the rest in danger. All right? Uh, you know that you're on your honor system. I'm not going to have something up here taking everybody's temperature. But please consider other folks. Please stay at home if you're sick. Uh, there's not going to be an altar call as we use, usually have it because uh, it's not real conducive to what the governor wants. If you need to talk to me after the services, we'll go over to one side of the parking lot in the public and we'll talk alone about the spiritual decisions you might need to make. We're not going to pass the plate. What we're going to do is there will be a deacon standing the different ways you come in holding a plate and you just walk by and drop your offering in. We don't want the plate touching other people's hands, okay, so that we don't pass things around, okay. Um, all the conditions um, are going to be met by us so that we can have a chance to go forward to phase three and they relax a few of them. 
when we finally get to meet inside, we want it to be in such a way that we don't have to wear the mask, where we can do some handshaking, where we can do some other things, okay, where we can really have a celebration service, but this will get us together, okay? Uh, realize that we don't have the capability of taping the outside service. It would cost two or three thousand dollars at least to get just the minimum of equipment uh, to do that. And right now we can't do that. But we hope that you'll enjoy the outside service. In case of rain, we'll make other plans and put that on social media. I think that I'm going to put something of some of these conditions on social media, on Facebook and our group, and so that you can read them. I hope that you don't take offense with these. I hope that you're not going to get mad about these. Uh, there, there's a, a real balancing act right now between those who think we're being too careful and those who think we're not being nearly careful enough. Okay, let's treat each other with Christian love and, uh, and esteem others better than ourselves. As Paul says, if you think you're one of the strong ones, then support your weaker brothers by paying attention to what the governor wants us to do and the health expert, experts want us to do. Um, I hope you'll consider that. I just want us to get together and see one another and see how the worship service goes so that we can get better and go to phase two and then eventually to phase three. At phase three, they say that we could start having some Sunday school classes, especially children's classes right now. No children's classes, no child care, uh, no youth classes. This makes it very hard for Brother Galen. He's working extra hard to try to keep up with the youth and have some things for them to do online. and and teach a lesson online, plus tape me and, and keep everything moving. He'll be the one responsible for hooking up the sound system. So he's extremely busy, so pray for him. Uh, help him if you can, but keep your social distance of six feet. All right? Uh, even when the deacons met, we scattered out. Okay? Um, you see, we're here to serve God, and we're here to reach our community. And that means we're going to set the example on how to do the things that we need to do. This is a tremendous challenge. It's also a tremendous opportunity. We don't know whether there will be 20 folks show up or 200 folks. I know that a lot of people in our community have been watching the Facebook stuff. They've told me they have. I'm hoping they'll come to our outdoor service. If they do, don't feel like you have to run over and shake their hand and say, Oh, if we were inside the city, would fall down. Just say, Man, I'm glad to see you. Be kind, all right? Be kind to one another. As we get back, it's going to be real tempting to hug. It's going to be real tempting to shake hands. Nothing will happen, Brother Gary. Well, we don't know that, so let's do what we're supposed to do. And then as we progress, we'll be able to move inside and start having genuine services or more normal services. I don't know if it'll ever be totally normal again, but we'll have more normal until we get back to where we can really fellowship in the Lord together, which is what we all want to do. Thanks for your time. Pray for one another. Remember your staff and your deacons love you. Goodbye.